let's go. Herder lights it up, Newgarden pulls out. Here comes Palo on the inside. Watching Palo and Award in row two there, side by side. Palo will have the advantage. Does Award try to hang on and ride the outside? He told Kevin Lee, I just got to hang in there. I just got to hang in there. There's Kirkwood. a spinner. Kirkwood. Oh, Kirkwood around. No grip on the outside of turn one, and Kirkwood oh, just learned that up. lesson. They're going to leave it green for now, let some of this racing play out. Lots of side-by-side -side action. We've heard the drivers talk about how bad it is offline. Let's see what happens with this huge draft down to turn five. That's Santino Ferrucci, I think, getting forced off the track. He was looking to make a move on Felix Rosenquist, I believe, or was that Pato Award? That was Pato Award that got shuffled all the way back to six. And how about Devlin DeFrancesco moving his way up there in that blue and pink car? Nice work from the young Canadian. This is cool. Road America's long enough that the AMR safety team might be able to refile Kirkwood before the field comes around, but they need to hurry. And you may have seen in the background at turn six, David Malukas going off there. Uh, in the background now, the full course caution flies. Oh, no, it was close. There goes Kirkwood. But good decision from IndyCar. You can't leave the safety officials there if you think it's going to be on the margin. For Kyle Kirkwood, this is what happened on board. So you got Joseph Newgard there to your right. He's got clean air in front of him, but you know that the outside is a little bit slick. Oh, he gets into the back of Pato Award. That's why Pato lost so many spots and just spun as soon as he got offline. So just a little bit of a misjudgment there. On yeah. the brakes from Kyle Kirkwood. Pato did a good job to hang on to it. Really good job. Unfortunate for Pato. He All right, we're ready to get going. Again, Colton Herter in the game breach Honda at the front. Look at Marcus green, Erickson green, green. and Devlin DeFrancesco. Again, you can pass as soon as the green is called. So that was an, a move into the final corner. But guys, look at Marcus Armstrong. We hadn't talked about him up from eighth to third. Now he's all over the back of his teammate, Alex Pelot in the white and blue car. You see the green car of wow. Armstrong to the outside. What a run. Yeah, Pelot's not letting him get through that easily. Newgarden and then Rossi. Devlin DeFrancesco really doing well here today. Qualified in 12th, moved up to eighth before that yellow. There's Christian Lundgaard going in front of Alexander Rossi. That is a pass for fifth or sixth. Scott Dixon, Roman Groch on a Will Power. These guys have all had issues together so far this weekend. Remember, Will Power said yesterday, Romain Grosjean needs a punch in the face for something that went down in practice, and Grosjean knows that. They almost come together. That's going to let Will or uh, Scott Dixon, sorry, go by. There he is in that blue and orange PNC bank machine. Will Power, big understeer now. He's got to be careful. Very little grip offline. If you get just an inch over too far to the left, Will Power's discovered already. You are in the grass and the gravel at high speed. Push to pass is active. He's going to try to go the long way. It's not likely to work. Joseph Newgarden elbows out, pushes wow. him off the track completely. Hip wow. check, hip check into the glass. Oh, and that's Alexander Rossi goes by Christian Lundgaard. And now he's under threat from Devlin DeFrancesco, who's up to seventh. Incident that created a penalty for Pato Award. He's in that orange and black number five. Santino Ferrucci in the black car is going to draft up, pop out to the outside and Pato Award. He <laughs> just drives into him. Yeah, that's at 170 miles an hour. So two spot penalty is, is mild. Yeah, I think it's probably he has to go back behind the car that he caused the infraction to. So there goes Santino Ferrucci and Pato filing back in line. Those two still running lockstep. Looks like turn three, Felix Rosenquist maybe? Still running, no damage seemingly to his race car. Yeah, there it is. We saw Joseph Newgarden have an issue there. I think maybe Scott Dixon as well in practice. We've seen issues everywhere throughout practice, Townsend, but I wonder if he had any help getting there. Look at this little cross-up move from Simon Pagino making a move. Let's take a look again at Felix uh -oh. Rosenquist. Renas VK on the inside. Boom. Yeah, That's an easy call for race control. There's the help you were talking about. Now. If you're an official, you're going to watch this and say, did Rosenquist block? I don't think I saw anything to suggest that. No, that's just VK forcing it. That should be an easy, yeah. avoidable contact penalty. This oh. is Romain Grosjean, the Delaware Life Honda. That looks like turn three again. I wonder if there was help once again. And his car is stalled. I can tell by the body language, the visor's up as the hands collapse on the steering wheel and an already challenging weekend for Roman Grosjean goes straight into the sandbox. Now we're still lap 12. This puts the puts us right in the pit window. 
Oh, oh, he dropped his left rear right into the grass on approach. On full stare up. Nobody else around. Marcus Armstrong in a drag race with Joseph Newgarden, and Newgarden is going to have that spot. Alexander Rossi comes out fifth. And the caution flies, second one today. Kind of surprised that I'm not seeing a lot of red tires go on as there's been an issue again for Kyle Kirkwood on pit lane. Just take your time here, guys. Green, Marcus green, green. Erickson there looking racy in that red and white Husky Honda. Who's off track? It's Jack, Jack Harvey. Harvey. And is he, oh, wow. Nothing he could do there because he knows if he stops, he's dead in the water. So he's trying to stay in the throttle, but he could not get it turned as the cautions wave once again. You know what I'm saying? Harvey's thinking, I'm in the I'm in the kitty litter. I gotta I gotta lean into it and see if I can rotate the car on the throttle. And once he decided it wasn't working, yeah, for, it was too late. For not being up to peso, I'm surprised at how far he made it in. Yeah, he's, he's got the engine running, but he is buried. So let's ride on board here. Let's listen. Wow. And speaking of racing, green, let's green, get green. back to it. Green flag flies here at Road America and watch that bright green vivid car of Christian Lungard. He's incensed that Newgarden didn't get a penalty. He's on the attack. He's on the attack for the other green car of Marcus Armstrong. You see them weaving down the straightaway, trying to break the draft. Marcus Armstrong is going to have a run here on Alexander Rossi into turn one, not late enough on the brakes to make it happen. I thought we were going to see a Talladega bump draft with the two of them going past Alexander Rossi in fourth. But no, Lungard backs off now. Lungard has a challenge coming from Pato Award in the other orange Errol McLaren. Two super talented young drivers who came from the world of Formula Two in Europe and they have made their home very effectively here in the NTT IndyCar Series. Oh, here comes Armstrong, pops out on Rossi. Who's going Red deeper one. on the brakes? Armstrong's got it in that Ridgeline Lubricants car. Rossi with the switchback, couldn't do it. Santino Ferrucci now on the inside of six, no grip on the outside. That's another spot to Scott Dixon. He's lost now being challenged by Pagano. Oh, Pagano and Erickson come together. I wonder if that right rear got cut down by the wing contact. It looks like it's intact. Up. Oh. Big block there. Meanwhile. Speaking of Palo, Newgarden got grab second and contact with the championship leader. Wow, I did not see that run coming. Great save though from Alex Palo in that blue and white card second on your screen there. The number 10. Newgarden throwing, throwing picks and blocks and shoulders and elbows like he plays offensive line, muscling his way forward. But I say again, good hard racing right there. David Malukas, the HMD Dale Coin car comes to a stop. Looks that like looks like extras to the carousel as the full course caution comes out. Fourth one of the day, lap 24. How many laps of caution will this be? Does it open up the final, or sorry, second to last stop for all these cars? Yeah, see, he had to slow down. I, we didn't see what that car was in front of him, but he maybe had to drag his car a little bit, drag the brakes, slow down, and maybe that slower launch, let's see. He had a I think just a little right bit there. slow on the stop. But yeah, maybe. Here's the race off pit road. Keeping Alex Pelot, Joseph Newgarden, then Colton Herter. Let's go back to racing. Look at Pelot on the inside, going on the attack, trying to clear Jack Harvey. He knows Newgarden and Herter are coming. It's important to clear Jack Harvey, but at the same time, it gave him a slow launch off the last corner. Does that allow Joseph Newgarden to use this draft off the 30 of Jack Harvey? There he is. He's behind Pelot. Drag race now down the front. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. Hold on. Turn one at Road America. This is lively enough as it is, and Newgarden's lost a spot. Jack Harvey goes wide, trying to defend against Alex Pelot. Oh. Side by side, that's Scott McLaughlin on the inside of Harvey now. Oh. Ball in line. Oh. oh, Peterson on his teammate. That's Santino Ferrucci, but it was Benjamin Peterson up the inside as Marcus Armstrong. And again, I, I just don't get this, James. This guy's guy only going to go to the back. He's going to go to the back with a massive gap. And Will Power is going to go to alternates. He does still needed to do that. So this is a required for Will Power, but he's also shortened that stint. He's been well off strategy since starting in the back, diving in early, couldn't get the full fill on their second stop. So I think this is stop number six now for Will Power is just trying to salvage some points. But there's life left in Rossi. He's fighting hard. 
but I'm not sure how strong a position he's in to fight. Look at Rosenquist going to try to come right back on his teammate up the inside. He'll have the advantage into turn six. Moments ago, Colton hurt his teammate, Roman Grosjean, uh, once again off track in turn one. Wow. That thing got airborne. <laughs> well, let's take a look back at what happened with Roman oh. Grosjean. Out of the pit, Simon Pagano. He this looks like a repeat of what wide. happened before break, except he just didn't launch the car like last time. And then this is down at turn three. Oh, man. It's been a day to forget for Romain Grosjean. He wants this race to end so badly. All right, here we go. So we saw Herder up front pit. Now here come all the chasers. And we're going to watch eagerly, Kevin, as to where they come out in relation to Colton Herder. Here he comes at speed. And it's going to be into turn one between the Spaniard and the Californian. How like that? And Colton Herter stays ahead. This is going to get sketchy here, guys. Oh, Whoa. oh boy. Lungard gets pushed way wide. That was super sketchy. Rossi defending very aggressively against Felix Rosenquist. The yellow and black car is Colton Herter. The white and blue car is championship leader Alex Pelot. And it is on for the win of this race with just nine laps to go. Will Power comes to pit lane. This is the battle for the win. James, I said it earlier. I didn't think it was a great idea to bring in Colton a lap before and stretch the fuel to the finish. We're starting to see Alex Below really press as Colton Herta has to get a better fuel number to make it to the end. Overtaken front, 32, behind, 47. No pressure behind, point four back. Oh, pressure at the front, though, as Pelo presses forward. And there he does it on the outside. How about that? Nice move, Alex Pelo, the American Legion Honda, in the lead of the Sancio Grand Prix. Beautiful stuff. And Colton Herta knows he's a sitting duck at this point. Now, Colton Herta's attention turns immediately to what's behind him. And he now understands things that he did before as Newgarden gets a run on Herta. Yeah, and unfortunately, Colton Herta cannot fight. Oh. He cannot defend. He's simply trying to nurse this Gainbridge Honda to the end. But that's a long way to go. Six laps around the four-mile monster that is Road America. And, it, and there are more coming. There's more lining up. There's a replay of Will Power in the Verizon Chevy. What happened through the kink? Oh, boy. What an incredible save. Especially I Especially mean, that last snap. That looked like Simon Pagano last year here. That big old bump off track. Pato Award up the inside and will take over third place from Colton Herta. Shocking. Colton Herta's going to have a trouble finishing in the top five as Scott Dixon's going to pass him going to turn three. As Stingray Rob Whoa. off in turn three, is it? I think it's the carousel. It's the carousel. Wow. That's a big off. Look at all the rocks and dirt that he just brought back onto the track. Right too. on line. That's a great save, though. We saw Pato Award go off there in practice this morning in warm-up. Let's have a look at it here. Oh, boy. Pretty late in the corner. Just keeping it off the wall. We've talked about it all weekend. Carousel kind of works like an oval track corner this weekend with that new asphalt. You get just a little bit offline and you're chasing it right up the track. Smooth sailing, Alex Palo. Well, you see on this car it, with the American Legion, it says, be the one. Be the one to ask, are you OK? It's to help veteran uh, suicide prevention. Well, to use those very words, Alex Palo is the one. He is the one in this 2023 IndyCar season. He is the one here at Road America. And Alex Palo wins again, back-to-back -back races. He wins the Sancio Grand Prix. Woo! Thank you, boys. Thank you for those pit stops. Yeah, yes. Chip Ganassi celebrates on the pit box. And his man is just dominant this season. Hi folks, Lee Diffie from NBC Sports here. If you truly enjoyed what you just watched, you can get more news, interviews, and highlights by subscribing to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube page. You can get it all, so go for it.